All Black captain Richie McCaw talks to the New Zealand Herald Online about whether the All Blacks will win the Rugby World Cup and what happened to the team in 2010. I think I think what the, the big thing that changes you got to be careful. Like, I guess uh, the fear of losing that, that that is part of it, I suppose. But you can't use it as a negative. You got to use it as that uh, I guess that desire to want to perform every week. And if you go and perform every week, then you give yourself the best chance of winning. And I think that's that's the attitude that this year has certainly been prevalent. You know, we went into perhaps you know after a year of not going so well against the Springboks for example there was a real desire to get things right and I think momentum sort of built from that because we started playing some rugby that we're happy with and, and I was really impressed with the way the whole team management included really had a big desire to improve and, and be better and that, that's I guess it's pretty simple but that's what's been great about this year I think. Was it little things? Were you far off the mark? Were there little tweaks to be done or was there just you had to dig deep? Or what's the difference? Uh, yeah, I think there's a few things. I, I think the game changed a wee bit, which perhaps started to suit us. Um, there was more reward for having the ball in hand, and we've probably got individuals in our team right from 1 to 15 all got the ability to, to use the ball effectively. So that, that was one thing. And we kept trying to innovate perhaps how we were going to play. You know, we didn't just think we had it sorted. And I, I think perhaps subtle attitude, but just kept, you know, tweaking things a bit. And, and I think, yeah, especially on the tour at the end of the year, the competition for places, you know, kept the standard of guys performing up. So um, I, I think a whole lot of little things sort of contributed. Just spoke to um, Mike Miller, IRB, about the rule changes. And, and we asked him whether they're good for the game. Has it made it a better game to play and, and to watch for the fans? How do you feel about it? You've got to be careful when you say rule changes because all it is is perhaps an interpretation mm. and, and I think attitude of teams has helped as well. Like always, if you look back over the, say the last 10 years, each year there's a different emphasis, you know, because last year, from last year to this year, everyone knew, geez, we need to sort out our attacking game if we're going to, you know, that's the next thing where you can make a difference. And I think all the teams have done that. How the refs have ref the breakdown have given more reward for that. So certainly from a player's point of view, uh, as opposed to last year where you had more reward from just putting the ball in the air and hoping for the best. You actually, for good play, uh, for building pressure, you know, you got, got reward for it. I think that's the way rugby should be, you know. That's, you run out, you want to run with the ball and stuff. Um, so, it's, yeah, I think it's in a good spot. Because what he exactly did say was the referees are now refereeing the law the way the, it was intended. Yeah, I think so. And I, there's been a huge effort to make sure the referees are as close to all the same as you can get you know there's always differences but I think they've all there's been a big effort to make sure that the the things that they've said they're going to focus on they've, they've by and large tried to do that so I think that's a good thing um, but I, I do believe you know you look at the way the Northern Hemisphere England's and co their attitude to the way they wanted to play on that tour was, was good you know that would have been easy for them to have you know perhaps uh, tried to stick with what worked in the past and I think they've, they've got a portion of that but they've also tried to make the most of what you can do which is great. I was just about to come to that, the, the style of the UK and the English team in particular, I mean th that match was closer than perhaps the fans would you know accept wasn't it because of that Ah, uh, Yeah yes and no yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Um, I felt like that game we were reasonably under control but, but certainly England I, you could see their confidence built over you know from our week we played them to the following week against the Wallabies so they got some confidence out of it. Um, but if you don't try and play and you just try and uh, the, you know play like you did last year, I think everyone realises you just come second because a team like the Wallabies, perhaps us, um, you know, with some players that find some space and inevitably there'll be a little bit, uh, you know, you get reward for it and score tries. So you got to make sure you score your own. The loss to the Wallabies was that a reminder, perhaps, of of their potential, what they can do. Untapped potential. Yeah, I, I don't think it was. A, well, I think we knew that they had that that. Potential. Um, I think what was what it did for us is certainly kept our feet on the ground. Um, you know, I, what really annoys me about that game is we didn't play particularly well early, but we got ourselves in a position where we were in control of the game, and then we let that slip, and that that was what really frustrated me and I think the rest of the team. And we had a good look at why we got ourselves in that position. Whereas perhaps it, had we won the game, you wouldn't, wouldn't look quite as hard, and we addressed a few things. So. I think the Wallabies showed that you let, allow that to happen, they're, they're good enough to take those chances. But um, it's one of those ones that frustrated the hell out of me because again, we did enough to get ourselves in a position to win and then we let it slip and you know, that's pretty annoying. But certainly perhaps the rest of the tour it may have uh, refocused everyone. They've won the 
Tri Nations for the tenth time. John Smith distraught. The South Africans. What what changed with them this year? Did did the All Blacks change, or did the South Africans change? Are, you know, just, are they where you were in 2009, just you know, there abouts? Unsure. I, I think we were better in terms of we we sort of took them on and. and I think physically in that we didn't allow them to get the edge, perhaps we did last year to some extent. Um, I think they got caught a little bit with how they were playing, that what worked for them last year where they have been successful didn't work as well this year and I think they kept trying to get that right and you perhaps saw on the tour at the end of the year, especially the England game, they, the bits I saw, they, they certainly had tweaked things a wee bit but you look at the, the players they've got, um, they've certainly got some ability there and Perhaps they were just like, you know, a bit of confidence lost and it, it's, you know, you, how do you try the worst it gets, so um, they've certainly got the players that are going to be a force, you know, going into next year, I'm sure. What a try! A traditional strength of the All Blacks have been the senior players and, and a team being built around that. How, how is the core of the All Blacks at the moment? I think that is a big strength. Um, you look at the players we've got that have been around a while, you know, the team that take, took the field on the fair majority of occasions, there weren't many guys under 25, and especially in the 15 that started. So that shows that in terms of years and perhaps also how many games they've played, there's a fair bit of experience here. But they're not just there because uh, they've been there, they're there because they're performing well. And I think that's that was a good mix we had this year. We had experience, we had those guys all performing well. And uh, I know certainly from my point of view, the senior players, um, you know, we've got pretty tight and, and work pretty well together to make sure that we don't just let things meander along, you know, keep keep on uh, things you take for granted but you just make sure everything happens well and I think we've got a pretty good culture which, you know, perhaps helps when things get a bit tough. When things get tough, is it also those those micro um, connections, half back, number eight, etc., those, those combinations? How have they been doing? Yeah, well, I think we've had a fairly settled team this year, which mm. which helps. Um, but, I, but what's impressed me too, the guys that have that have had the opportunities that perhaps don't play all that often have, have done pretty well too. So I think just time together and an experience of those a lot of those guys have started to play quite a few tests together now uh, certainly helps. There's no doubt about that. Um, we put a lot of work into relationships between say nine and ten, eight and nine. You know that just doesn't happen. Yet. Training, you, know, you put a lot of time into understanding how each what each other's going to do. And you know, if it didn't work so well one week, you, you you do things to rectify it. And I think there's a lot of work that you know people perhaps on the outside don't see that goes on to make sure that they are those uh, combinations are good. The All Black coaches, they swapped roles for a certain amount of time. No, no, and the swap back to what we'd call the traditional roles. How has their relationship with the team been in respect of have they become more authoritarian? Are you um, having player power or input? How is that mix working? Um, oh, I think it's, it's working like it always has and, and really well. You know, the, the three coaches, um, I think they complement each other really well. You know, they don't all, they aren't all the same, but they have different ideas, which is great. And they certainly include the senior players, for starters, onto, into the direction of the team. Well, they have the final say, but it'd be silly not to have the guys that are out there implementing it, totally believing in it. And there's a chance for discussion, there's a chance to talk how we're going, and then you know, when it comes to Saturday we can go and implement it. But uh, there's so much knowledge with those coaches, experience, um, we've got some experienced players, so we've got a pretty good think tank each week as to how we can improve, and I think that's... You know, one of the reasons why the team's uh, done all right this year is all those guys, we've all worked pretty well together. What, what was said after the Grand Slam amongst the team? I mean, what, what message was left with you by the coaches for the summer and going into 2011? I think the big thing was to actually appreciate what we've done for this year. Well, it's been a big year, 13 out of 14 tests is a pretty good achievement. So you got a big thing was to make sure we could take our time off but come back next year ready to go. And uh, so, you know, we've got a month off now, so let's take that break. But realise that next year we've got a big Super Rugby to get through. But, yeah, just build into it to make sure that towards the end of that competition everyone's playing well so we can go into the, the All Black season in good shape. And, you know, it's not rocket science, but you can't be 
putting all your effort now for what's going to happen eight months time because you'll burn out but it's been able to take your break and then get ready to go and I think that's the big message we wanted to make sure the guys got. And what did Richie McCaw, the captain, say to the team after that tour about being in the team and being an All Black? I think the message, similar to what I just said about the coaches, mm -hmm. you know, like, hell of an achievement to win a Grand Slam, like, I think you expect the All Blacks to do it, but it just doesn't happen, like, those four teams will go out and that's a big game is to play against the All Blacks, and we had to do it right every time, and I think that's what I was proud of, everyone chipped in with the, in the 22 or not, you know, they made sure they did everything each week to make, to ensure the team performs, and for the most part we did that, and I think it's taken those lessons next year that, you know, we've got to keep doing that and keep raising the bar, so that was, I guess, one of the messages I had was to make sure you store that away, but, you know, come next year things change and you've got to make sure you get back on and look at ways of being better, and, but we worry about that next year, I suppose. Yes. This team is obviously good enough to win the Rugby World Cup, you've got the form and the players to win the World Cup, what, what do you need to do to achieve that prize? Take nothing for granted. Like I, I think you just can't afford to take anything for granted. Like uh, three, at the end of the day, it's three one-off games when it comes to knockout. And when I say three, it's actually one. You know, you, you focus on one because there's no tomorrow, and you got to play that like like that. And then if you get through that, then you have another go. Uh, you can't be putting plans in place for next week when there's probably there it could might not be next week. I think that's what I've learned now the last time. And there's six other teams that are all capable of winning on the day you know aware of that so that you as I say you don't expect anything you don't nothing's uh, for sure for you and you've got to go and, and earn everything you get that's that's what I know, I've worked out and uh, you say that that it could be like oh you know what's going to happen but then you look at it as what a great opportunity and an opportunity to go and, and play against the best and be the best and you know that's why you play the game so I think that's the sort of attitude you need to have um, understand how tough it's going to be but then go about making sure you you perform when it really counts and and that's that's all you can do really so you can't if I sit here and say Richie McCall will you win the rugby build cup you can't say that can you well, if you did, you wouldn't, you know. I hope we do, and I'm going to do everything you can to ensure we, we go out and perform to win that. But uh, it's a game of sport, and, you know, anything can happen on the day, and that's what we've got to do is eliminate all the, as many uh, variables as we can so that uh, we give ourselves the best chance. Um, and I think the big thing, the other thing, the team's got to firmly believe, like you said, you know, the team's capable. You've got to firmly believe that. And I think most of the guys do because they realise we've got the talent. You believe you can, but then put that to the side and go about doing what you need to to make that a reality. And if we do that, you know, you give yourself a hell of a chance, and you know that's exciting.